Hey everyone, my name is Joe Wilson and this is the Marmoset Toolbag 207 feature update video. The star of the show is Marmoset Viewer, which is a fully interactive 3D presentation tool that brings Marmoset's brand of high quality rendering to the web. To use Marmoset Viewer, first set up your scene in Toolbag 2 and then go to File, Viewer, Export. From here, you can set various parameters like artist credit information, texture quality, and some optional presentation settings. Now you have an MView file that you can load in your browser and manipulate. You can rotate the camera, rotate the lighting, and even bring up the layers panel, which allows you to view the individual texture channels and the model's wireframe as well. Marmoset Viewer is based on the WebGL standard, which means that no plugins are required and it will run on a wide range of hardware. Viewer files can be embedded with iframes, which makes it easy to integrate into your existing site design. Here I've put together a simple gallery system to create a fully interactive 3D portfolio. You can also upload your MView files directly to ArtStation, which allows you to share your 3D artwork with a huge community of artists. In the future, we will work with other popular websites and forums to support Marmoset Viewer files. Another feature that we're really excited about is Material ID support. This allows you to apply sub-object polygon-based material selections to your model. When you import your mesh, now you'll notice a bunch of sub-objects appended to your mesh for each material ID. Matching materials are created and applied to the correct chunks as well, which saves a lot of time as you no longer need to manually make new materials and apply them on import. Now you can start editing your materials as soon as you've imported your mesh. Another big benefit to material ID support is that when you import a new mesh, It'll first check the scene to see if any of the material names match the materials found in the mesh file. Then it will apply them to the appropriate sub-objects. Here, I've made some adjustments to my mesh in my 3D modeling app. You can see as I re-imported it, all of the materials are automatically applied. We've added a variety of other new interesting features as well. First up is the Filmic Tone Mapper which uses a modified curve to provide crisper, deeper blacks while retaining more of the highlight detail. It's important to note that the exposure changes quite a bit when using the Filmic Tone Mapper, so you may want to adjust your exposure or adjust your lighting. We've added a visibility checkbox next to each texture, so you can quickly toggle on and off all of your maps to see what sort of effect they have on your material. This is also really handy if you're trying to hunt down a seam or some other artifact and you're not sure which map it's coming from. We've added a new reflectivity model called the Advanced Mentalness Model, which adds a specular input for controlling the re reflectivity for non-metallic materials. This allows us to better support materials created for engines such as Unreal 4 and the Snowdrop engine, which have a secondary specular input. Speaking of texture input, we've also added an explicit transparency or alpha map input, now you can load an image directly into the transparency slot instead of pulling it out of the diffuse or albedo alpha channel. We've added an optional setting to maintain the old behavior as well for backwards compatibility. Lastly, as you probably noticed by the green pop-up boxes, we've added tooltips which give a little informative tip whenever you mouse over most functions in the app. The tooltips serve as sort of an interactive method of documentation. If there's anything that you're not really sure quite how it works in Toolbag, just mouse over it and you'll get a helpful little description. We've also added a variety of other features, like Unity Tangent Space support, Substance 5 material support, PLY file importing, object locking, and a user editable default scene and material system. As always, check our website for the full change log. This has been Joe Wilson for Marmoset. Thanks for watching.